Paul, thanks for speaking to us. What's your thoughts after that? I mean, this is my about 18th interview, isn't it? So I apologise. Um, I thought first half we were excellent, but without creating enough guilt edge chances. And away from home, if you have that much of the ball, you know, it always comes down to chances and goals. And we didn't do enough today to score enough goals to win. Um, and that's sort of my assessment. Second half, obviously the game's not going to be the same. They came at us, they sort of changed the system. It was two against our two centre-halves, which caused us problems. We didn't defend well enough uh, when called upon in the random moments. Uh, they got two, could have got three, could have got four in fairness. Uh, and when, in fairness, <laughs> Tom Barkhausen could have scored. Harvey had a good effort. He got a penalty that he says the player didn't get any of the ball, but I haven't seen that back. But our second half performance wasn't bad, but like I said, in the random moments, they were just better. Was it, uh, again, another reminder of if you don't take your chances or at least take advantage of the fact that when you're on top, things can change second half? Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, you, obviously, people watching this probably getting the hang of what I think, but it's not just about keeping the ball. It's not about keeping it and, you know, keeping the ball for ball's sake. That Every time you have the ball, there should be a purpose to your play. There should be a, a, a dynamic part of your play. You should be trying to create goals and score. And I'm saying that box to box today, I thought our play was really good. We just didn't have enough cutting edge in the final third. Like the pitch didn't help either team, to be fair. It was a bit bobbly, but there's a few little one-twos around the edge of the box where... I think uh, these conditions, and you've just got to let your peg go. And I, like, you know, if you interviewed any of the lads, I think they'd all say the same. Like the performance level was significantly better than last week, so I'm really proud on that. Um, but our final third play, we get in good positions, we overhit crosses, we load the box, we change the system at 1 0. Like I'm not that guy who's happy with a 1 0 and just sit, wait for the last 10 minutes, then go for it. We changed it. We went from a six and two eights to playing a ten and two nines we you know we were open I appreciate that and uh, we're more vulnerable then in the last 15-20 minutes but we still have got to be better in that final third. Is that almost the most frustrating thing that you got in so many good areas okay some didn't lead to chances but you got in areas of the situations to to really hurt Peterborough today? Sorry is that the worst bit that we got in good areas and didn't score? No, it's almost Sorry. the most frustrating thing that you had the opportunity. It wasn't like you came here and didn't play particularly well, didn't have many chances. You had plenty of opportunities yeah, to yeah. hurt. Them. I thought, yeah, that is frustrating. I thought in large periods of the game today we looked like the home side, as well as I can put it. And I thought we were in full control, but you know, full control. The the, the judges on the on the goals and in both boxes defending and attacking we weren't good enough to win it and that sometimes that is what football is we've won games where we haven't been the better team possibly but you know it's just had that little bounce and it's fallen to the right person at the right time and at the moment we're in that bit of a excuse me sticky wicket where we're not free flowing scoring as much uh, and we need to get back to that and I don't want to make it a big issue because as soon as you make it a big issue <laughs> it's a bigger problem but I just think that you know we'll score maybe next week hopefully We'll score a goal and um, you know the nerves will calm down but look the lads attitude was amazing because they've had a tough week um, you know I'm not saying we trained them to death but we've done a lot of out of possession stuff at the start of the week and and they've been really good and I, like, I really thank them for that because you know I've been in dressing rooms where managers lose it and it goes the other way they, they stuck with it their attitude was spot on and I they can go home feeling a bit unfortunate they haven't come away with a point but in their moments, we, like I said, we weren't good enough. It's important to remember as well, you're still in the top six. There's eight games to go. It's in your hands. Just You, you mentioned the other day that this result, either way that it went, wasn't going to sort of define things for the next couple of weeks. Is it important to just everyone just to keep cool heads at the moment? And like you mentioned there, not make things a bigger issue than they actually are. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I'm a reasonably intelligent guy. I know what football's like after the result. So no one will keep their head, even if they watch this for the next three or four hours. But come Sunday, Monday, you get excited about the Ipswich game and you think, you know, we've got to try and get one of them, them two spots. And if we come up short, we come up short. We just have to rebuild and go again next year. But we, we shouldn't come up short. We've got, you know, I think we've got enough in the building. Um, but when we have the ball, we just have to be, you know... Not dynamic, but risk taken. I don't know, but we just we're just missing something, and I can't honestly put my finger on it um, that I would like to share.
Ipswich then at Pride Park next week, that would be a great game for those little missing pieces of the jigsaw to, to come back into the table because I would imagine it's the sort of game that you're probably pleased that you've got. Big crowd, good team coming to Pride Park. It's, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for the players to step up. Yeah, it is. I mean, in fairness, it's a big crowd if we play um, uh, Mikelova, in all due respect. There'll still be 28,000 there. So, yeah, big crowd, big game against a really good team. Very good team, in fairness. I've watched the last few games, me, Rich and Amy. So we, we're well aware of what Ipswich bring, and we'll have to be at our very best. But we'll have to, you know, against very good teams, you have to create chances and you have to take them. And, look, Peterborough had one chance, their first chance today goes in. Uh, Unfortunately, ours didn't. So on another day, we might have come away with something. We might have got a draw. We might have even, you know, it's all a bit ifs, buts and maybes, but we might have won the game coming away thinking amazing. And the, everything else of your performance, you forget. It's just about the goals, about creating, you know, memories. And I said to the lads before the game, you know, like you score and you win here, it'll feel a million dollars. They did everything they could, but unfortunately, we just didn't have enough quality to, you know, create and score. Just last word for the fans, nearly 4,000. I know we've addressed this every time we spoke after an away game, but it's another incredible following. Yeah, it is. And in fairness, I was, uh, you know, I'm, man, I, it's on my shoulders, isn't it? I was ready to take absolute dog's abuse when I uh, walked and clapped the fans after because I understand their disappointing, disappointment, as am I. I'm absolutely heartbroken that we lost a game that we look so good in, in patches so I, you know I didn't hear anyone abuse me but they're more than entitled to because I'm in charge of a team that you know hasn't won and I think we came here prepared to win we did everything we could to win but we just come up short again which is disappointing so for all the fans who uh, kindly clap me back I sincerely say thank you and if you did abuse me I apologise I didn't hear you so uh, I can leave here feeling reasonably good about myself in the fact that, look, everyone wants success. Like, the lads give everything they can for success. And maybe, maybe we try too hard. Maybe we try too hard. You know, we maybe our final ball in, we're a bit nervy or whatever. So it's going to be a week, really, of a lot of out-of-possession stuff because of how Ipswich play. But when we do get it back, we need to, you know, be better in the final third. If that means we have to change the system, then that's something we're going to have to look at.